Do deer find a place to hide and stay still when the wind picks up, or do they keep moving around? The Penn State study found that deer were most active when it was calm and least active when it was windy at night. When the wind gets really strong, deer often move to a place with less wind. If you're lucky, you'll find a lot of deer on the lee side of any large area of wind-blocking habitat. These deer will walk a long way to get away from strong winds, hills, thickets, native grass. When things settle down, on the other hand, the deer were less busy. Even in broad daylight, mature bucks don't move much, so you have to get close to them before you shoot. Some hunters have seen that bucks like to sleep in different places depending on which way the wind is blowing. For example, a buck might choose to sleep on a thick edge that faces out into the open, with the wind blowing out of the heavy cover at its back. Most of the time, this kind of deer goes to bed by walking into the wind and smelling its bed. So, they can use their nose to block the upwind while keeping an eye on the downwind and crosswind with their eyes. Their ears can always hear sounds, and when a branch breaks, their eyes focus on any direction the sound could have come from. After that, it will go back and look at its own tracks. You might want to think about this. If an animal can do that, it shows that it is pretty smart. They don't have to worry about the smells of the earth and the wind competing with each other. They only have to worry about one set line from a predator to be safe. Because of this, it's very hard to find an adult buck while it's sleeping and kill it. The doe is in a place where she can watch you as you follow in her tracks. A deer will make a safe zone around its bed to keep it from getting hurt. It can tell you are here by what you smell, what it sees, or what you hear. An old deer can relax here. Because of this, it will wake up and go about its daytime business. The deer moves more slowly and carefully as it gets closer to the edge of the protected area. Even if they aren't walking directly into the wind, deer will usually use it to their advantage when they are on their feet. If they don't know where they are, they fly in a circle downwind, and if the wind is going against them, they wait until nightfall to move. As was already said, they use it when they are in bed and when they are going from one place to another. The only time they don't use their sense of smell is when they are out in the open. It is possible to hunt deer in the wind, and it is also possible to make hunting observations. In fact, a steady wind can make it easier to predict where deer will move in the woods. When hunting whitetails in the wind, your scent will always be blown in the same direction. This makes it easier to find big bucks that may be roaming the downwind edge of thick bedding cover. When hunting deer in the wind, it's a good idea to set up your tree stands so that there are obstacles downwind. Any of a number of things, like a big tree that fell over, a pile of brush, or a steep creek bank, should be enough to stop deer from using this path. If they move downwind from here, your scent will be so weak that they won't be able to smell it. If you can find a good tree upwind of here, deer won't bother you unless they have to.